It didn't take long for Carlos Buza to make a name for himself on the basketball court. Two state titles, three times named the Alaska State Player of the Year, and a 22-point night at the McDonald's High School All-American game, just the beginning of a phenomenal career. After high school, Boozer would matriculate to Duke, following in the footsteps of fellow Alaska Sports Hall of Famer Trajan Langdon. The 6'9 blockbuster big man, a big part of the Blue Devils 2001 NCAA championship over Arizona. I mean, we played in a lot of great games, and I think this, this might be one of the best games we've played in because they're, they're such a great team. After his junior year, Carlos was ready to make the jump to the NBA, exiting Duke as the school's all-time leader in field goal percentage. But that, combined with his near 15 points and 7 rebounds a game, wasn't enough to make the star a first-round selection in the NBA draft. I remember teams that passed me up. I still remember uh, the players that went ahead of me in the draft. That motivation leading to Boozer grabbing a slot on the second team all-rookie squad in his first pro year and averaging over 15 points, 11 rebounds a game in his second season. We stepped up to the plate and we are fortunate enough to get Carlos and it puts us now in a position for us to get better each year. Boozer signing for six years, $68 million with the Jazz and in 04, he got another big time career nod. When you get an opportunity to wear USA across your chest, you know, how many times did you get that opportunity? Not just say Utah Jazz or Juno Douglas High School or Duke University, it says USA. Over the last two years, Carlos Boozer has become a 2010 guy, one of the premier interior players in the NBA. But even with all the accolades, all the success, Carlos has stayed grounded and remembers where it all started. It's always good to come back to Juno. Always good. This is home. What have you been up to? Chilling? All right.